It's a flurry of activity here in Kansarodo. I am at the scene, the crime scene. Behind me, you can see uh, an uncompleted building. Now, just behind that uncompleted building is the last residence of Samuel Udoteg Wills. He is the prime suspect in the kidnap case that has captured the attention of the entire nation. There is a flurry of activity behind me. You can see the top brass of police, including the commander and his top team, who have been here all morning uh, as part of the investigation, trying to piece together the clues they have found at this location since yesterday, when uh, the police first started to dig around uh, for some remains. Now, these remains uh, that they were looking for were as a result of a tip from uh, the, the prime suspect himself, Samuel Wills. This, according to my sources, is the first tip from the uh, suspect that has yielded actual results. In the past, he has sent them in many different directions uh, on wild goose chases from Kuforidia to Nigeria. But finally, yesterday, actual results were found. Two skulls, remains, of uh, unidentified, as yet unidentified victims were located right here at this, um, this um, place where uh, he used to live. The people of this community have been paying very, very close attention to what has been happening since yesterday. While the police have been coming and going, they have been noting every single thing that happened. In a moment, I'll introduce you to a lady who saw it all and who can give us a narration from an eyewitness's point of view of everything that unfolded here yesterday. It is still a flurry of activity. If you have a look behind me, you'll see the police officers uh, packing some of the equipment that they used uh, to retrieve evidence here yesterday. Bamboo and uh, pipes that were used to get deep down into the soakaways and the septic tanks within which evidence was located here yesterday. Now, as they are mobilizing and moving away, it does not mean that this is now a scene that is accessible to the public. It is by no means accessible to the public. It is still a crime scene. There are still police officers on duty who are guarding the scene to make sure that nobody can go in. But even as the police mobilize and leave the scene here, the residents still remain. The residents don't forget. They saw everything that happened here. Already, the trauma of discovering that amongst them was a person suspected of such a heinous crime is bad enough. But now, actual evidence has been located at the place where this person resided for however long he was a part of this community.